Hello everyone, I'm Fail, and welcome to another video on Modded Minecraft. Today I will be showing you the simplest possible auto-crafting system in AE2 and how to make it. So here is what we will be making now. Please note, this is the simplest it can be. If you're looking for a more advanced tutorial, you should probably change over now. So you start with the basic applied energistics build here, which is power source, ME controller, some sort of interface to access your drive and or chest. If you aren't aware of this already, you can also use an energy acceptor to get power from other mods, for example, Mechanism or IC2. So how do we do auto-crafting once we have this? You'll want to build your crafting CPU, not to be confused with the crafting processing unit, which is part of the crafting CPU. The crafting CPU is the build itself. The crafting processing unit is basically what makes it work, so to speak. And then you have a, you place on top of that a crafting storage. There are multiple of these in different sizes. The crafting storage block provides space for the crafting co-processing unit to allow multiple crafting jobs to be processed simultaneously. So that here, this here is your crafting CPU. Now, if you want to make this craft something, you will need a molecular assembler. This basically works as an automatic crafting table. Above that, you will want an ME pattern provider. This is the uh, one of the only differences between the old version of AE2 and the new one. Back, back in the day, you used an ME interface. Now it's an ME pattern provider. It provides for patterns to be crafted. Now, these patterns are basically the recipe that is auto-crafted multiple times. And to program a pattern, you need an ME pattern encoding terminal, seen here, in which you place your blank pattern, put a crafting recipe, into the grid over here and then press encode pattern to have an encoded pattern. Now you take this pattern, throw it in there and you will see it is now able to craft wooden pickaxes. There you go. Now let's say you want to smelt something, what do you do then? Basically you go here and change the mode from crafting to processing. Then you take what you want, let's say we want to turn cobblestone into stone. Then you put the input on the left field there, and then you put the output there. That is important. Don't forget to put the output there, otherwise it won't work. Process is exactly the same. You place the ME pattern provider above the furnace, chuck in the pattern. You press shift, it'll show what is in the pattern. Okay, now how do we hook this furnace up to the system? Basically, you'll want to pull some wiring from the ME pattern provider into an ME export bus. You're exporting an item out of the ME system and into the furnace. And to take it out of the furnace, you're exporting it out of the furnace and importing it into the ME system. This is the only bit I don't understand about the new version of AE2. Basically, in the old days, you just hook this up to there and hook that bucket back in there and that would work. If you do that now, it'll complain about not having enough channels, so you have to pull it directly from the output into the controller into the controller, nowhere else works. If anyone knows how to do this more conveniently, please leave a comment. I will then pin that so that other people can find it. So now we will just go here, request a stone, start. You will note the furnace lights up and the stone gets sucked out and into the, term and into the storage. So there you have it. That is the simplest form of auto crafting in Applied Energistics 2 1.18. I hope this video helped you. If it did, do consider liking the video. Don't bother subscribing, I don't actually do Minecraft videos usually, but I'd still appreciate it. Other than that, have a nice day. Any questions, I'll try to answer in the comments down below.